Hi guys. So today we are going to take another topic which is not very very commonly asked but yet in order to have an extra edge we can discuss this. So you all know about congenital dacryocystitis but today we are going to talk about the adult dacryocystitis. This adult dacryocystitis can be of two types. It can be acute and it can be chronic and it is the chronic one which is more common. So first we are going to talk about chronic dacryocystitis where we are having the chronic inflammation of the lacrimal sac. Now this can occur from the infection in the sac per se or this can come from the uh, neighboring places like we have conjunctival infection or infection in the nasal cavity or the paranasal sinuses and the exacerbating factors can be the more of the secretions there which can be due to the hyperlacrimation or it can be due to decreased drainage due to any polyp any uh, any of the thickening of the uh, inferior turbinates it can be uh, any foreign body which has blocked the nasolacrimal duct or anything which is increasing the uh, secretions per se it is more common in females uh, in the age group of 40 to 60 years and the infecting agents mostly are staphylococcus streptococcus it can be pneumococcus or pseudomonas pyocyanin now when the infection occurs it usually takes a in four stages the first is the chronic catarrhal stage which is is actually a stage of um, inflammation we have just uh, the uh, apiphora along with the mild redness but slowly and gradually it will become a mucosal so we will have the distension of the lacrimal sac and then we have the pyogenic infection of this lacrimal sac that will be your separative stage and finally the fibrotic stage in which we are having the fibrotic thickening of the lacrimal sac with the irregularity of the mucosa also now coming up to the treatment see in the treatment only in the recent cases i can give syringing and probing but if it is an old case then syringing and probing won't help so in that case i will have to do the balloon dilatation of the sac i can do the um a DCR, DCT, I can do if the DCR is uh, contraindicated in that case, we can do the DCT also. Now, uh, coming to the acute decryocystitis, which actually is occurring under the same circumstances, it can be the acute exacerbation of the chronic decryocystitis. It follows the three stages. First is a stage of cellulitis, like we have orbital cellulitis, then is the abscess formation, and finally is the fistula. So, in the stage of uh, cellulitis, you you can just give the anti-inflammatory agents abscess will require the drainage and finally is the fistula which will require the fistulectomy so fistulectomy if it is um, uh, external fistula or internal fistula along with the dcr or dct so hope this helps and will also help you solving another questions which will require the differentiation